you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous to film this video. I have never filmed a video like this. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna cover all kinds of things in this video, all kinds of odds and ends, little things like a smorgasbord, a budgeting, and I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna talk about my feelings a little bit, and we're gonna do binder makeovers. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, not sure how we'll edit it, not sure if you'll enjoy it, but I'm taking a risk. I hope you enjoy this video, and I feel like Wendy with the way I started this. So let's go back to being Lizzie. Hello everyone, welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today I am in my pajamas and I am bringing to you a very different type of video. I hope you enjoy it. So we're gonna get right into it. The first thing I want to show you is something I've already shown you on a smaller scale, but this was from Erica Budgets. It was a gift she emailed to me. And not only is she so thoughtful, I already told you guys that she knows I love sloths and she knows I love red and blue together or red and turquoise together, but it didn't dawn on me until she mentioned it, but she also knows I love fountain sodas and that's why she chose fountain sodas. So I just had to show you one more time because she's just so thoughtful and I blew it up. I actually printed it in two sizes, but I kind of want to do it in two sizes because I love it so much. So I'm not sure when we'll be able to start it, but I also wanted to make sure you guys got a good look at it. So I thought I would show you the blown up version, but she is just so, so sweet. So the next thing I want to show you is another gift I got via email. And I got this from Roxy over at Sincerely Roxy Designs on Etsy. And I believe she said that she saw this quote somewhere and it really resonated with her and she wanted to send it to people she had been praying for. So I love this so much. It says faith is believing in advance what will only make sense in reverse. And then it says for we walk by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians five, seven. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a savings challenge and coloring in each letter will be a certain amount. And I may use this for my save to give jar. So we'll see about that, but I just wanted to just let you know how sweet these people are, not just YouTubers, but also these Etsy shop owners. And we really have become a family and really care about each other. And I just, this was such a blessing to me that she was praying for me and thinking of me and sent this to me. So thank you so much, Roxy. And now I'm gonna show you just for fun, I'm going to show you some A6 challenges I recently received. Again, this is from Erica Budgets, and you already saw this one. I bought this mini cookie savings challenge from Danielle Craft Studios. And again, all of these will be in the description box. This is super cute, and it's only $35. And another reason I show you guys these challenges is so that you will know places where you can go, Etsy shops you can go, to purchase challenges that are for low denominations. I know sometimes it might be overwhelming if you just Google low budget savings challenges on Etsy, it can be overwhelming. I know a friend of mine just um, hired me to make her a whole book of low budget savings challenges and just do the work for her and mail her a book with envelopes. And so I just wanted to let you know, Dan Danielle Craft Studios is a great place to get smaller challenges. She keeps putting up new ones. And then this last thing I wanted to show you is just one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And this is from Sincerely Roxy Designs. And I guess I should have showed it first. Um, anyway, so this was, I have ordered savings challenges from her before, and those are the ones that were succulents that were scratchers. Um, so you've seen that before in one of my videos. But anyway, I saw this chip challenge, and you guys talk about resonating with me. These I am like addicted to chips. Sometimes I eat chips for breakfast, it's crazy. So I had to have the chip challenge, but it was for higher denominations than what I wanted. So I just sent her a message and said, hey, any chance I can pay you to do a custom order and you can make them for smaller amounts? She was like, absolutely. So she also said to let you guys know that she can make them for you in smaller denominations as well as she did for me. Um, just to hit her up, send her a message. So that was really sweet. And I can't wait to start this one as well. So the next thing we're going to do is open some happy mail. I received it quite a while ago. I had ordered some things to use for my 2000 subscriber giveaway. 
And so I got a bunch of stuff in the mail. And so I didn't open everything. I Anyway, long story short, Wendy was the from the Thrifty Sewist. She's the one who said, no, I don't want you to buy anything for the challenge. I want to donate it. And she chose some items with me to donate for my giveaway. And she sent something for me. And you guys, I haven't even opened it yet. And I feel so bad. But I've just had crazy stuff going on. So anyway, the reason I waited to open it is because I wanted to open it on camera and this just seems like the perfect time. So Wendy, I'm sorry I'm so late in opening this. I have not opened it. I haven't broken the seal, but I did want to do it on camera. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside. And again, huge shout out and thanks to Wendy for donating the challenges. Okay, so for Liz, this is cute. So let me open this. Oh, it looks like the rainbow cards I sent her. Oh, that's cute. All right, I hope it's okay that I read it. Let's see. Um, hi, friend. Here are just a couple little things for you. I made you some sloth stickers. Oh, oh my goodness. They aren't up to par with what you would buy, but I hope you like them anyway. I also know you don't like to use a sticker if you only have one. <laughs> so I made you two of each. Oh my gosh, Wendy, I love you. I also in oh, included my new doggy in the window savings challenge. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for all your support and for being such a great friend, XOXO Wendy. Okay, this is so funny. You guys, uh, okay, I'm almost gonna cry. And I'm never like this on camera. Wow. Wendy doesn't know this, but I hemmed and hawed about buying that challenge. That challenge just brings back all of these really, really good childhood memories for me. And oh my gosh, I might cry. Um, I was very close with my great aunt. So my mom's aunt, she wasn't able to have any kids of her own. And so we visited her, me and my sister and brother and my cousins. We visited, visited her all the time. We had so much fun with her. She always made us pizza. That was her big thing. And her pizza was absolutely disgusting, but we never told her, but she always made homemade fried chicken and we loved the fried chicken. And so we went over there all the time. My sister and I would sleep over. We just have so many wonderful memories of my Auntie Anne. She's the one that has also made, she used to make our Easter dresses, I need to find a picture. She'd make me and my sister matching Easter dresses and make matching ones for our Cabbage Patch dolls, like for one of our dolls, even a bonnet that fit them. They fit perfectly. And you guys, she used to always sing us the song, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? And so it's just such a, I mean, obviously I miss her greatly, but it's just such a beautiful memory. And I was thinking about, I'm sorry the story ended up being so long, but... I was thinking about buying that challenge and putting it in my 80s and 90s binder because, or binders, because that was a childhood memory of mine from the, that time frame. So anyway, Wendy had no idea about that. And I went to send her a, mess, a voice message about it. And I deleted the beginning of my message because it was too long to explain over an Instagram voice message that you can only spend 60 seconds on. So anyway, she didn't know that, but... That just really touched me. Okay, so let's see what's here. Oh, you guys, I you guys all know I love her scratch off. So here is the Mother's Day and Father's Day one. And oops, let me sorry. And let me just tell you, they're even more beautiful in person than they are seeing them online or on her videos. So the Father's Day one is 75. And I don't know what this one is, but it doesn't matter. You all know that Wendy always does small amounts, and this is just so precious. So you can really use these anytime for anything. So I'm super excited to put these, I'll probably put these in my Scratchy Smalls binder since we're trying to finish up the other savings challenge binder. So these will be perfect. And oh, here are the price tags for the doggy in the window. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. And here, this goes along with it. So you put a price tag on each item says, write your doggy's name next to the, oh, right here, write your doggy's name there and save an amount of your choice. And then you put tags on all the things in the window. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, let's move along. 
Spin and scratch. Okay. Oh, she remembered my magnet. Okay, you guys. Okay. After I didn't realize all of the, the special things Erica noticed about me to make me that challenge, I'm going to notice this about Wendy. I bet she gave me the turquoise because she knows I love turquoise and purple. So anyway, this is for my Mega Money Mall game. And like I said, I ordered something very special um, to go with that game, which is why I haven't started it. It's something that's being made and it's gonna, taking a long time to make. So I'll show that to you as soon as it comes in and we'll start doing that challenge right away. Um, and the spin and scratch. I needed this too. I can't believe she remembered that. I have her spin and scratch. I'm giving one away, but I had bought one. And here's an insert for the envelope. Okay, this is just, I'm so glad I opened this on camera. I almost didn't, and I'm so glad I did. So now Wendy gets to see my reactions. Oh my goodness. Look how, okay. All right, Wendy, you really got me. I'm getting very emotional. Okay, all right. Um. Man, and I thought this was going to be a short video. Okay, I just got goosebumps. Okay, these are so big and so colorful and so cute. And I think unless I have a savings challenge planned for them, like I might do a rainbow savings challenge with this one and a donut one with this one. But I might actually use the rest of them for Happy Mail. We'll have to see. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Wendy, you just... There's so much thoughtfulness put into this. I am just blown away and I really don't even know what to say except for thank you so much. And this means more to me than you'll ever know. I'm gonna try not to cry and I'm gonna try to move on. You guys are all just so sweet. Didn't think I was gonna get choked up, but wow. Thank you so much, Wendy. Everyone go check her out, follow her channel, follow her shop. Um, okay, deep breath, Lizzie. Deep breath, Lizzie. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you are some things. If you see what they are, you'll probably recognize who it's from. But this is from my good friend, Trina. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she has an Etsy shop. She is budget by number. She did the Tetris challenge, or she made the Tetris challenge I did. She made the Pac-Man one I'm doing right now, and I'm probably doing more of hers. She also made those beautiful savings challenge books that I'm giving away in my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. And you know what? I forgot one more thing that came in this package, so please hold. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I think I was gone for 10 minutes, and I am so flustered right now. I cannot find the gift from Trina. I have looked everywhere, all out of breath too. I cannot find it and I can't stop till I find it. However, and she'll understand this because we share the same personality. After about 10 minutes, I had to stop because I'm afraid my battery will die and because I need to pick up Addie from school. So I'm really, really frustrated right now that I lost it, but I will find it and then I will text her a picture so she knows I found it, but she, gifted me, I may have even told you guys this, but she gifted me her Save 2100 book, which that's what I wanted, and in like a teal color, which was super, super sweet of her. She knew I liked that mint green tealish color, and she included it in with the binder that I ordered for the giveaway. And so that was super sweet of her. Again, it's going to be hard for me to even finish this video because... I am just fixated on having lost that and want to find it. But anyway, so I also want to tell you guys, she sent me more goodies too. She is so generous. She sent this in case of an emergency and it is an envelope and the challenge is inside. Um, another central perk envelope, multiply your savings. And so the, she has challenges on her shop that go with these that are you can download them and print them. But those are the envelopes. And she said I could keep these things or I could gift them to you guys, which I am going to gift them to you guys. Not in this video because you already know I'm in the middle of, of giving away 29 prizes. So I don't even know if I'll have enough to cover all that postage. So I'll do this at a later date. But look how beautiful these are. And Sai from Cash and Spanglish, if you're watching, do you love these so much? Look at them. So these are punched A6, and I'll show you what they are. They are trackers. So 
and they're laminated so you can reuse them. So these are trackers that you can put right into your A6 binders to go with your categories. And they are gorgeous, let me tell you. Then my little book of savings challenges. Isn't this like the cutest thing in the whole world? Oh my gosh, you guys. I guess I probably shouldn't flip through every page because this video is gonna be so long, but she has so many cute challenges in there. Christmas, rainy day, Tetris, catch the fireflies, movie time. This is just chock full of little challenges. So I'm gonna be giving all these things away later, but I just wanted to say thank you so much, Trina. And then the next thing I want to do is to talk about my friend. And again, I'm still not sure the pronunciation of her name, but I couldn't wait to hear back from her. I needed to get this video out. So I apologize again, but her Etsy channel is, let's see, I'm gonna show you this first, is Plan with Layla Blue. And you guys, I have placed three orders with her. The first order, I don't believe I opened on camera, but she gave me so many freebies and I ended up sending a bunch to Lindsay over at Boy Mom Loves to Save because I knew she would like them. Well, I placed another order and I think the order I placed, I can't remember, but I think it is the two envelopes I already put in my binders on my video where I did my monthly sinking fund cash stuffing. So let's see if my memory serves me right because I had four similar envelopes, but two were from her. I think she had the post office one um, and the driver's ed one. I'm pretty sure those two were from her. If not, I'll put them put it on the screen here. But if I don't put anything up on the screen, then those were the two envelopes I ordered from her. So you guys, look what she sent me. So the envelopes are already in use and look at all this extra stuff. Not only did she do this, but I'm just gonna show you quickly, guys. She gave me so many freebies and she wrote on the back, for all these different challenges, what amounts they come in, things like that. You can get them horizontal or vertical. She put um, all kinds of notes and stuff. Um, options, you have the option to have these laminated. Um, if you want more than one, if you want more than one, the amounts will be mixed. There's just all kinds of notes on these to make it really easy for us to order from her. So anyway, I just wanna go through and show you guys because I am still a little bit blown away. So she gave me these two challenges. And again, I didn't buy any of this stuff. Two scratch offs there. Here's a beautiful save 500. Here's save 250. It's a super cute donut one. Another super cute donut save 250 one. So she's saying you can get them in the vertical or the horizontal. And this one here is gingerbread candy one. And then a $60 um, gummy bear one. And it, you guys, it comes, this is, um, oh, okay. This says save 500 down here, but she should, they come in all different amounts, but these are scratchers. And then she says the amounts, they come in in all kinds of options, you guys. Here's another one, save 100. Here's another one and look, she gave me the envelopes and then you guys, I just, I don't even have time to show you all this. This is crazy, but here are all the, all the denominations and increments these come in. These are all sticker challenges, but she's included envelopes and you can use your finger or little tweezers to put the dollar bills on the amounts, which I think is so cute. And look at all this, you guys, they're all different colors, all different amounts. I am gonna have so much fun giving these away at a later date too and then, Look at this, you guys. Here's a couple larger ones. 5K savings with mixed bills available in different colors. So here's a 5K savings where I'm gonna guess there's those little dollar bill stickers. Yes, look at this, you guys. So there's, let me open this one. So, oh, it's an envelope, okay. So you use this envelope and these stickers inside equal out to the 5,000. I mean, look how adorable this is. You guys know we all love stickers, so anyway. I am gonna be have so much fun giving these away, but I feel like she gave away her whole shop to me for free. I feel like I'm stealing. But um, oh, the least we can do is go and follow her shop. And here's another one. This is a 1,000 savings challenge. I may wanna keep this one, you guys. Everything about it is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but it says 1,000 savings challenge. There's hearts. Again, I don't wanna take the time out take the time to go through all this, but these stickers are larger and these 
things to put them on are larger. And look at all these shiny stickers in the back. So you guys, this was my second order and these are all the freebies. And again, I'll be giving most of these away to you guys and I'll give you a card with that. And then when I was working on my 80s and 90s binders, I'm gonna have two binders. And when I was working on that, I place one more order. Of course, I really want to support her too. So I'm going to have a Beauty and the Beast challenge because that was my favorite movie growing up. Well, that and The Little Mermaid. And then I want to do a Candyland game because like that is my childhood, you know, Candyland. And then we always watch DuckTales. So I wanted to have like a Donald Duck. I wanted to have a DuckTales envelope. So these ones I'm going to punch, but this one will be a vertical one and these are horizontal, but I have savings challenges or games to go along with them. So I, my last order were, were these three items and guess what she sent me? You guys look at all these freebies. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be keeping some of these to use on my channel. I'll definitely be keeping this 101. And so this cat one, you guys look at this 100, 250, 500, Another 100 in a different color. Oh, a different design. Look at the different kitties. This one is like, I think a naughty kitty. Look at that with the yarn. This is 250. This round one is 100. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here's Betty Boop. An um, laminated envelope. And these are so thick and like super good quality. Christmas gifts. And there's an elf. Um, this looks like a Louis Vuitton envelope. Um, the Grinch. Charlie Brown and Care Bears. Okay, these are all laminated envelopes. Remember I bought three and she gave me all this stuff, you guys. So we're gonna have to do a, a giveaway where a lot of different people win and I can just stick each thing in, a, in an envelope so it won't be too expensive to ship. So that way a ton of people can be blessed by her. And I also, so that's, that's enough about that, but I just wanted to tell you too, I think it's really sweet. Her daughter helps her pack all of her orders. So I think that's really sweet because my daughter works with me, you know, on my channel or she has my Etsy shop. It's her shop. So that is super cool. So huge, huge, huge thanks to plan with, we're just going to say Layla for now, plan with Layla Blue. Okay. So what are we going to do next? I feel like this is already way too long. The next thing I wanted to do is I had mentioned to you guys, if you saw the video semi recently, that I was going to start saving A bucks and L bucks for my children for their future. So let me see. I believe I stuck them in here. So I made two new envelopes. If you had remembered, or if you remember, I got these from, let's see, from Katie Reynolds over at Reynolds Budgets. I had gotten these two, and I was just going to start putting amounts in these. And I think that when I'm done doing the little scratchers for Addy. I'll probably keep the larger bills in here. And then same with Max, his box. When we empty his box, I may put the money in here and then I can use placeholders with these envelopes. However, I also had bought these stickers before I saw those envelopes. So this would be for my daughter because it's the class of 2027. I'm gonna be saving a bucks. Her name is Addison. And this class of 2025 is for my son, Max, and I'll be saving L bucks for him because those are the ones I actually get the most. So I thought I would just go ahead and do it with you guys right now. So let's get these started. So I'm not gonna use trackers or anything like that. Um, I have a lot of stuff beside me in this video, sorry. Um, if I did buy trackers, I would buy them from Reinventing Renee because hers are the original ones. She created them. And, um, but anyway, I, and I do have, I have purchased her L and B tracker when I use trackers for the L and the B bucks I was saving. But so let's see, we're going to go ahead. We'll do my daughter's first. So we'll count the L bucks that we have for her. We have one, two, three, four. Nope. That's wrong. A bucks for my daughter, Addison. I might need to put a letter on here, but I didn't want to mess this up because it's so cute. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're gonna start this off with 13 A bucks. So I'm not gonna color in any challenge with the letters and I'm also not gonna use trackers like I do in my sinking funds for like these, these trackers. So when they don't fit anymore, we'll probably condense it and stick it again in the other envelope. So anyway, so then we have four L bucks at the moment for my son. So let's we'll put these in here. And then we're gonna do something else that's random because I told you that's what this video is all about. Just random things that have to do with budgeting. And I like to try to include as 
every little thing about budgeting that I do, I try to have it all be on camera so that you guys see 100% of my budgeting journey. So there are no questions there. You're not wondering about anything. Okay, so let's talk about my vacation binder. I really, really, really want to finish this because I want to get this money in the bank. So it holds $5,000. This is from Kristen at Intentional Living YouTube on Etsy and on YouTube. And I will link her as always. And we have $325 left to finish this. So here's what I decided. So I may get in trouble when Matt finds out, but I'm going ahead and making this decision. He's not home right now, so he may not like this, but I did not like it that on my No YouTube Saturday, he dung me with a $100 fine. So I decided right now there's $108 in the YouTube jar where I got fined for doing YouTube stuff or saying the word YouTube on a Saturday. I made that $100 bill, I switched it into 250s. And because that YouTube jar is going, we decided was gonna go in with our, our family fun envelope. Well, you know, this is for our trip to the Bahamas, that's family fun. So I thought I might kind of cheat the system, but we don't have any extra money to put toward travel. Wait a second, there we go. We don't have any extra money to put toward travel this month because I'm doing those magic mini binders. So because I'm doing a magic minis binder four Mondays a month, that is that comes out to a total of, I believe, $300. So that's something had to give. And I thought about using my YouTube check, paycheck to fund to fund this or to fill it up as most, most as I as much as I can. However, that didn't work out because if I do that, then I can't stuff my Christmas binder. And I want to stuff the Christmas binder at least once a month. So I decided we're going to take that 100 out of the jar, break it into 50s, and fill two more slots. So if we owe 325, that means we only owe 225. So hopefully he's okay with that. And if he's not, well, he will be eventually. He can't stay mad at me long. <laughs> okay. I know I'm evil. Okay. So. We just stuffed 100 in the vacation binder. And now, let's see, we're at 32 minutes, but 10 of it was, okay, we'll finish with the last part of the video. I just wanted to talk to you for a minute because I don't know, I'm just having a lot of feelings lately and I've shared them with, you know, some friends, but I wanted to just be clear with all of you guys. And I am in like this rut right now, this like budgeting rut. I can't really explain it, it's just, I'm sure everyone gets this way. It's just like, I feel like I'm not making traction. And I know that's not true, but I can't help how I feel. And the reason I feel like I'm not making traction and that I'm working so hard for nothing, again, I know that's not true, but this is just how I feel, is because I have been, I'm not able to put too much money in my sinking funds every month, which is understandable. So my whole idea was to use savings challenges because I put a lot of money into those. That's where what I like to do. So is to use savings challenges when they're completed to fill up my sinking funds. And that hasn't been happening because we had, I forget how much, but Matt needed dental work. And I think it was, you guys will probably remember, I don't, it was I believe it was 7,000, 6,000, 7,000. And that was on my care credit card. So we had to pay that off as soon as possible so we wouldn't get interest. And so you guys saw me through that journey, paid it off, was so excited to start putting money in sinking funds. And then what happened? You know, Ranger got really sick. Now, I don't want to, I was afraid, I'm afraid to tell you all this because I do not want to sound ungrateful. And if this is your first time, just click off now. <laughs> because those of you who know me, you know my heart, you know I'm an extremely generous person. That's about the only nice thing I'll say about myself is that yes, I know I'm generous. Um, I always tell people I appreciate you. I'm very grateful, very appreciative. And this isn't gonna sound like this for a minute, but I'm real, I'm honest, and so here goes. I just feel like throwing in the towel, I feel like not even cash stuffing 
just start, just use a credit card for whatever I need and pay as much of the credit card off as I can at the end of every month. Hopefully I can. I just feel like I'm doing all this work for nothing. And it's kind of hard to explain. And I'm a little nervous because this is just raw and just, I don't have anything planned to say, but I just feel de defeated, I guess is the word. And I know that there, I've talked to other YouTubers, I won't mention their names, and I've talked to other of my subscriber friends who are now friends, and this happens, you you know, things like this happen. This is, this is part of life, and this is why I want to build a big emergency fund, because then the emergency fund can take the hit and not all the other categories. And you might say, oh, all your other sinking funds aren't taking the hit. Right, but... The, that the, that savings challenge money when it's finished is supposed to be dispersed to all those accounts and it's not being dispersed to those accounts. So it kind of is, it's kind of like if I didn't do savings challenges and I stuffed, I would have a lot more to stuff in all my sinking funds once a month. But then I would have to go through and empty all my sinking funds when a, something like this came, when something big came up. So if you're completely lost and have no idea what I'm saying, don't worry about it. But if you do know what I'm saying, I just, I am darn tootin' sick of all my savings challenge money going to debt. I am so, so, so grateful for all the money everyone has donated to Ranger. You guys have been absolutely amazing. And I never expected it. I never would have asked for it. I am just blown away. I just, I can't even right now. So please don't sit there and say, yes, $11,000 was a big hit you took on your dog, but hey, at least he's alive. And, you know, you've had $3,500 donated. And, you know, when I have an emergency, no one donates to me or you can think whatever you want, you guys. But again, I just, I am so grateful for every cent, but I'm human and sometimes I just get discouraged and today I'm feeling really discouraged and thought I would share it with you. Um, I'm being really vulnerable right now, but I'm hoping that somebody can say, yes, that's exactly how I feel because sometimes you just need to know that someone else understands and sometimes people don't understand unless they're in the same boat as you. So I hope that this helps someone um, and I'm going to go ahead and focus on all the things that I'm grateful for and all my blessings. I'm not going to stay in this mood funk. I'm going to, after this video, I'm going to brush off and I'm going to focus on all the wonderful things. But I just want to say, I am so sick of putting all my savings challenge money to that care credit card. So instead of throwing in the towel, giving up on this whole budgeting thing, I'm going to try to just move forward and just look at how much of that $11,000 debt we've paid off so far, it's got to be close to half and be thankful for that and look at it as the, the cup is half full, not half empty. So encourage me in the comments if you can. I just need to hold on a little longer, get that paid off, and then I can plump up those savings, savings funds, uh, sinking funds again. Okay, so that little rant or whatever it is is over and I just hope that it was okay. I said all that. Okay. So I didn't know that happy mail was going to be so amazing and it was going to take me so long to open, but I think I'm going to go ahead and still do the last part of this video because that was the whole intention of this video and those other things were all just for free. So I am go another thing sometimes you need to do when budgeting gets boring or depressing is you got to spice it up. I mean, isn't that what we do with our wardrobe? We get sick of wearing the same things every day and then we go out and buy a new outfit and we wear it out somewhere special and we feel like a million bucks. Or maybe you don't, but you get the picture. Sometimes we just need to spice things up a little bit. So that's what I decided to do. I'll be honest, I ordered all four of these binders I'm about to show you for my giveaway. And then when I realized I had 327 gifts to give away, I realized I had to send some stuff back and instead of sending these binders back, I decided to keep them for myself since they're already paid for. So also I am not a big flower plant plan. I'm not a big flower fan. I do very much appreciate flowers, but I'm not a big flower person. So I'm actually shocked with myself that all four of these binders I bought have flowers on them. So I thought what I would do is I would take my binders, these three, also, 
we're running out of room in our safe and these take up room and sometimes they get in the way and are annoying. So I thought, let's switch, switch up the binders and I'm gonna take these three binders and you know, the self-care one, now that I've been adding on envelopes, this has stuff saving for my kids' future. So that's not really self-care. So we're just gonna, for a little while, use some new binders that don't have labels on them. And because I have four that I really like, and this one is starting to come apart, I think I'm gonna switch this over to just for the fun of it. So again, never filmed a video like this. I'm probably gonna fast forward most, fast forward most of it for you guys, but I can just hear, I try to think about what you guys would like and I try to give you varied content. And I just wanna say, what do I wanna say? Oh, um, I hope I'm not late picking my daughter from school. Huh, I can't look at the time because it's on my, anyway. Um, what did I want to say to you guys? Um, oh, I try, I try to think about questions you might have in the comments. I can just hear people saying, oh, I wished you had switched over those binders like on camera and we could have seen you do it. And so even though I think it's gonna be boring for you guys to watch, I will fast forward most of it. And Matt said the same thing. Matt's, I said, should I even make this video? And Matt said, you know what? It sounds really boring to me, but all your videos are really boring to me. I think he said something like that. He's like, but everyone else likes them because that's their thing. It's just not my thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to fast forward a lot of this. And I probably won't really do much talking, but I will show, open up all the binders, show them to you and figure out which binder is gonna go into what. So I think I'll just put these up on the screen. I don't know how to do a whole voiceover thing or I could have done a different video, but let me put these binders up there so you can see them. And let's go ahead and show you these new binders. So I'm not gonna take time to explain anything. I'm basically probably gonna fast forward it all and just show you without talking, just do it quickly and figure out which binder I'm transferring into what. It's gonna be very simple, probably boring, but you're welcome to click off now if you don't wanna see this part. So here goes. Okay, you guys, so that is really the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me switch over my binders and I'll make sure I fast forward it fast enough that it might be enjoyable to some. And I realized that this binder is a little longer than the other ones and I have to actually snap it. You could tell when I first tried, I it was the wrong side. So since this one was different and this is a savings challenge binder, I made this the different one. 
And even though I bought these three from different sellers, they're pretty much the same thing. They're all super sturdy. And I was also thinking I might be able to stand them up and do some videos with a different setup where you can see them stood up. I know some people like that. So anyway, um, this definitely cheers me up looking at these. It makes me want to save in them. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it just speaks to somebody and that I will be back Saturday with... Let's see, let me try to set up a thumbnail. Um, I will be back Saturday with an update on Ranger for the last two weeks. There, You will be surprised by the number of donations, it being really low or really high. So we either don't have much to report or we have a lot to report. So you'll have to come back to see Saturday. Thank you all so, so much for watching. You know I love you all. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like this video and have a great day. Bye. All right, this is it, Matt. Okay, this is the thumbnail. All right, later.